Hello everybody. Once again I am here to discuss the one more important organ of the female genital tract which contributes to infertility, the causes for infertility in the uterus. Now uterus in the female is the main important organ of the female genital tract and it has two parts. The upper part of the uterus is called the body of the uterus and the lower part is called the cervix. Now both contribute to uh, infertility. Now the upper part of the uterus has from outside to inside three parts. The outermost layer is called the serosa, the middle layer is the myometrium and the inner layer is the endometrium. Now every month we shed off the endometrium during the menstrual cycle. The endometrium is an extremely important uh, uh, structure of the uterus which helps in implantation of the embryo. So the endometrial pathology contributes to about 20 to 30% of infertility. Now uh, what is the, the commonest causes for infertility due to endometrial reasons is the infection again. The commonest infection is again tuberculosis. So tuberculosis affects the endometrial lining which prevents the implantation and therefore the couple, the lady becomes infertile. Other infections again are the sexually transmitted diseases, gonorrhea, chlamydia, other pelvic or uh, inflammatory diseases, infections also can cause uh, infertility like staph and also uh, leukorias, you know, the excess white discharge also carries infections and causes infertility. Now, because of endometrial infections, even multiple abortions can cause infertility. I'll come to that later. Now, because of endometrial uh, infection, the endometrium uh, sometimes uh, after the healing takes place, sometimes goes and forms uh, adhesions inside and synechae and therefore the embryo cannot implant. So that is another important reason. Now anatomically also sometimes the uterine development is at fault and the uterus can have a septum inside or multiple septae or a small cavity, hypoplastic uterus which again prevents the embryo from implantation. The other common causes of endometrial pathology are fibroids which are occurring in, from the myometrium of the uterus and protruding into the endometrial cavity. Now these fibroids again project inside the endometrial cavity and the cavity becomes obliterated and the embryo cannot implant or it implants over that fibroid however it cannot now what is a fibroid a fibroid is the myometrial overgrowth or the muscle which overgrows inside the uterine wall and cause grows in whorls and forms rounded structures. Now fibroids per se cannot cause infertility but if they are at certain situations then only they affect the implantation of the embryo and cause infertility. So fibroids near the tubal, in, internal tubal opening, they can cause infertility, coronal fibroids. Fibroids near the cervix, which is at the mouth of the uterus, they can cause infertility. So these fibroids also are uh, important and about 40% of the cause for infertility in females, the uterine cause is fibroids. The other important cause for the uterine infertility is the <coughs> cervical, the mouth of the uterus. Now if the mouth of the uterus is unhealthy, it is enlarged, hypertrophic, then also we see infertility. If the mouth is, so the opening is stenosed, it's extremely narrow, then also the sperm cannot go up and we see infertility. If the mouth has a huge erosion, which is also another uh, physiological uh, uh, problem but still because of an erosion we see sometimes there's excessive white discharge mucus uh, mucus is affected and we see that there is infertility so these are few of the causes because of the uterine uh, reason why the patient cannot conceive uh, how do we diagnose this the best way to diagnose uh, infertility the uterine causes the endometrial causes is a procedure called hysteroscopy Hysteroscopy can be done as a daycare procedure, it can be done in, by a very small uh, uh, scope which is only 3 millimeters, and it can be done as an office procedure. So one does not even many times require anesthesia 
but one can do it it's better done under anesthesia but one can do it without now through the hysteroscope again we connect it to the camera and project it on the monitor and we see internally all the different areas of the uterus we can pick up adhesions we can pick up and yeah one more reason a thing which i forgot to tell about the endometrial pathology is the polyps so polyps are uh, uh, thick endometrium only which forms into globular structures and it can affect sometimes in the, the implantation of the embryo so we can treat polyps through the hysteroscope we can resect them cut take them off we can uh, re uh, release the adhesions cut the adhesions inside we can uh, expand the cavity we can do so many things through the hysteroscope itself once we have diagnosed the problem so hysteroscopy is a gold standard again to diagnose the uh, causes of the endometrial causes of the infertile couple, infertile lady so this is the uterine part of the infertility the causes for infertility so i think i have covered most of the infertility causes and the next sessions will be the treatment for infertility so thank you very much and yes thank you thanks to librate and any uh, doubts or questions or any if you wish to speak to me or contact me you can please do so through librate thank you very much